Hey guys, gals, it's about 10 p.m. and uh, I sort of just got off work, so, sort of, and um, didn't have time this morning to shoot this video, so I'm doing it late at night. Um, I'm probably going to get this done the first time through, which is what this is right now. Um, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Good. Okay. So I showed you this trick last time. So we can do that again for you here. Uh, just watch. Okay. That's how the trick looks. I pulled this off of a DVD called the ring thing, and there are tons of other um, tricks on there. And I think they're all pretty cool, and some of them involve two rings, seemingly only using one though. This one actually does involve one, and I'll show you one or two other things with it that you can do. And it goes like this. What you're going to do is, um, when you pull the ring off, you don't actually pull it off, you just switch fingers. And when you hold your finger like this, your hand like this, and you switch fingers, and you turn your hand kind of in and toward yourself, it still looks like it's the pointer finger. But we all know it's the middle finger. Okay? It's okay to put your middle finger forward. Not like at someone or up, you know. But it's okay to do this. So when you cover your, your hand, you're going to switch fingers like that. So you cover your hand. And you're just going to do that. Okay? So that's what I'm doing. I'm just coming over, turning my hand in, and pointing it toward myself just a little bit, pretending to pull it off, then coming underneath, and going one, two, and then what you're seeing is me switching fingers back. Okay? Got it? So, if you need to rewind that, go ahead. I'll do it one more time for you just to make sure, though. This is real time, here. Okay, last time. That's how the trick should look. You should try it again, because I don't know if you saw that. There we are. Um, second one goes like this. I'll do that again. Okay, that one was done like this. You uh, you really only use the one finger. You don't switch fingers this time. When you get to here, you're going to actually cover your finger, and this is what's going to happen. You're going to pull it off like that. Okay, just so I can show you from this point of view here. I don't know if you saw that. Let's do it again. So basically, you're just going to do, you can put off uh, the, um, I don't know if you call it, but anyway, you get past this point here, and then that's when you can take it and pull it off into your hand like that. And you're going to cover that with your, you're going to get to here, you're going to cover it, and you're just going to continue to pretend to pull it off. Then just show this hand empty. As you uh, get it back on over here. It should be an easy manner to get it back on, okay? So you go from here to there. From here to there. Then back on. You're just doing one action, then reversing it, okay? So, real time. Got it? Hopefully y'all can see that. I'm going to leave you with this trick here, and I'm not going to teach you how to do this trick because it involves a gimmick, gimmick card, and um, I'm not going to tell you the card is, but it goes like this, and there's a routine with it too. The name of the trick, if you want to find it online, it's called Hold It Buddy uh, by Dan Harlan, I believe. Yeah, Dan Harlan, H-A-R-L-A-N, and it goes something like this. 
you show four cards. One, two, three, four. You show the backs. One, two, three, four. You're thinking you turn one face down just like this. I'm not going to go through the routine. It's a funny routine with jokes in it and all. Uh, you face it right there. You turn one face down. And basically, you think maybe what's in your hand, well, it's actually not because those are right there. So then you know, you turn this one face down again. So that way, you know that it's right there. But here's the kicker. It's actually in your hand. And that's the 8. So let's go ahead and do that again. Maybe I'll follow it this time. King gets turned face down, placed there, that goes on top. The uh, 8 gets turned face down. You think it's right here, but it's not. In fact, let me turn it over, that way you can see this better. Um, you know, 1, 2, 3. And this one gets flipped face up again. There you are. And uh, you do it a third time. And then someone catches you turning two cards over, and you're like, Christ. Yeah, you caught me turning two cards face down. Uh, so I'll take a piece of the other two face up ones here. You say, if you can guess the one, the king, which one the king is, then, um, then you win $5, or however much you want to tell them. And um, you say, uh, they say the left one. And you say, you flip over your left hand. That's not it. You say, no, they say the one left over. You say, that's not either. Because I always keep it hidden right in here so no one can get to it or win the game. I will show you some different tricks next time on Saturday. I hope you all enjoyed that. And I'm glad I got that on the first try. Well, I don't know if it's on the first try. This is the first try, but anyway, um, I'll have to look it over to make sure. Bye for now.